Thank you so much. One of my predecessors said, um, you know, when you're a sitting CEO, you walk into a room and people go, who's that? And when you're not, you walk into the room and they go, who's that? <laughs> but here's been my experience tonight standing beside Indra Nui is that that's not the experience at all. Andra, thank you so much for your friendship and your mentorship and for being here tonight. I am beyond humbled to be uh, in this room at all and to be recognized among people who have literally saved the world. Thank you um, for what you have done. And we are in the business of wellness as well, financial wellness, financial well-being. As a former financial advisor myself, I used to tell people that you need a spiritual advisor, a health advisor, and a financial advisor. You put all that together and you have access to possibilities in your lives and the lives of your families that we say may blow your minds. Today we serve eight million clients in our hundred years of history. We are all about making a positive impact on people. Indra said it, and we say it in a very colloquial way. We're here to leave people in places better than we found them. We've re-articulated that to say that we are here to partner for positive impact, to improve the lives of our clients and our colleagues and together better communities and yes, even society. And at the size and scale of a North American company that's focused hyper-locally in so many communities, working family by family to help people understand that they really do deserve financial advice. And financial advice that sees them as multi-dimensional human beings, that sees them across the arc of their lives, that is there to help make a difference in moments that really matter and moments that are very anxious, like the ones that we are today. All of those, that, that purpose statement is the reason that we take the intentional action that so many of you do in whatever sphere we are in, knowing that we can turn courage and compassion into intentional action that truly makes a difference. And Ravi, I love what you said at the opening about hopefulness. This is a room full of joy and hope. I've been reading a little bit lately about pessimism and how intellectually a seductive pessimism is. Have you noticed that lately? People think they sound smarter if they're pessimistic. But, in, but instead, that's a kind of doomerism that is gonna take us to a place we don't need to go. This room gives me so much hope. These, this, these leaders give me so much hope about what actionable optimism can do for the betterment of society, solving thorny problems. And as one CEO told me one time, there are lots of things we need to solve. Just pick one, pick a lane, and go there. That's what our firm does, is picks that lane associated with financial well-being, financial literacy, curing Alzheimer's. Let's do that one next, right? It robs families of their futures and their memories. Let's get rid of that one. These are the reasons that we take this kind of intentional action as a company and that I have so much hope and affirmation in being here together. For my Edward Jones family who's here, thank you. Thank you for everything you do. Part of our 50,000 person team. Thanks everybody, Lori, thank you very much.